It's beer o'clock on Relail Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wiper and True and it's a can of their Milk Stout Milkshake. Based in Bristol, the beer is coming in at 5.6% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. I've not had a beer from Wiper and True in a long time. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I do like a milk stout as well. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, we got a two finger tan coloured head. It is a jet black beer in the glass. You see the carbonation there, slow moving carbonation rolling up the glass. It looks very, very nice. Good stuff. Uh, at this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive thank you to beer52.com for supplying today's beer. Uh, if you want a free first box from us on the subscription at beer52.com that's a free box of beer then hit the link in the description box it'll take you to the subscription part of their website um, sign up in the sign up process if you put in the discount code when they prompt you uh, do you have a promotional code put in stone the crows you'll get a free box of beer on us all you have to do is pay the £4.99 delivery so there we go, free box of beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Check out the link in the description box. Looks good. Let's get the aroma. Oh, loads of roasted malt. Chocolate, coffee and caramel. And you really get the lactose as well in the beer. Slightly sweet kind of Lactose is kind of like a byproduct of milk. They use it to um, get a bit of body into the beer. But of course, the roasted malt is, is adding a little bit of body to the beer as well, as well as oats, I imagine, in the beer. It smells really good. Chocolatey and velvety and caramel, coffee. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Oh, Ooh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fabulous, fabulous beer that is. Oh, rich, velvety, thick, creamy, dense mouthfeel. Look at that. Oh, stone the crows, stone the crows, what a beer, what a beer this is, rich, roasty, toasty, caramel, bit of burnt toast, mm. espresso coffee, but what stitches all of this together is the rich velvety mouthfeel of, I'm going to guess, oats and lactose. I've not looked at the back of the can, but oats and lactose, I'm going to say. Wow. Just, if you think of coffee, big thick coffee, rich, dark, kind of latte-like coffee, loads of milk in it, and you think of the oats and the lactose that they add to this beer, you can get the mouth, you can get the reason why that the roasted malt in the beer that's given off coffee flavours, you get the reason why they add oats to the beer now and lactose, it's to, it's to stitch it all together, it's to make you think that it's, it's a bit like a cold brew coffee, if you like. There's just loads of flavours going on. Sweet caramel, sticky caramel. Again, that goes down with the mouthfeel. 
It's a little bit vinous as well, a little plum and fig and prune like on the back end. Mmm. Fabulous. Brewed with 100% renewable electricity, carbon neutral and green gas. Really cool. Right, Wiper and True Bristol. Uh, milk stouts are brewed with sugar from cow's milk to give the beer a sweet creamy tone. Uh, that's the lactose we're talking about. For our take on the traditional recipe we've used copious amounts of chocolate malts and laced them with vanilla and cacao to create a milkshake rich, velvety and satisfying dark beer. Store and serve chilled. The ingredients are the malts of Golden Promise, chocolate, caramel, aromatic, carafa 3, roasted barley, barley flaked malt oats, golden naked oats, wheat and contains lactose. There's the milk. The hops are Phoenix. The yeast is Ladaman BRY 97 and they're based in St. Werber's in Bristol. 18 IBUs. Terrific, terrific beer. I'm going to rate it. One of the nicest milk stouts I've had in such a long, long time on the channel. Beautiful lacing, beautiful looking beer, great aroma, fantastic taste, fantastic flavour. Talking about the cacao, yes, I've talked about the chocolate a little bit. I always seem to miss vanilla. There is a little vanilla kind of taste going on in there, but I've always struggled with that. I've always been honest with you guys, the viewers. I've always struggled with that vanilla flavour in the beer. Don't know why, you should really pick it up, but I generally don't. Um... But I always like to be straight and honest with you guys. I like that beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relail Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!